Thank you, Madam Speaker. As a member of the Committee on House Administration, I rise in support of HRES 496, the 2012 Committee Funding Resolution, with full knowledge of the impact the reduced funding levels contained in this measure will have on the committee system. For example, the Chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, on which I also serve, stated during the day-long hearing on this resolution that his committee would not be able to hold valuable field hearings during 2012 and would have to restrict other committee activities. More severe still, more than one ranking member stated that committee staff would have to be laid off as a result of the funding reductions contained in the resolution. This is unfortunate, but many American families have faced reduced activities and layoffs as a result of the current economic times, and Congress cannot exempt itself from such pain. This resolution will roll back committee funding to pre-2007 levels and is, I think, a necessary action as we cut spending throughout the federal budget. The committee went to considerable length to be fair both to all the chairmen but also to the minority, with no change made to the traditional funding split between majority and minority. This resolution will mean that the current Congress will spend almost 10 percent less than the previous Congress did. It requires every member of this body in a nonpartisan manner to participate in the austerity that the American people and the rest of their government are experiencing. I commend Chairman Lundgren for his work on this resolution, and I urge a yes vote on the resolution, and I yield back.